ladies and gentlemen. Hey guys and girls of YouTube, my name is Kaz Wallace and I'm going to be showing you how to use the Kodi Configurator on the Amazon Fire Stick. Uh, you don't know what the Kodi Configurator is by now? Well, it's an application for Android devices as well as Amazon Fire devices that allows you to configure your Kodi with one click of a button. Alright, so there are some prerequisites you're going to have to do before we begin. Um, you want to go down to settings. Once in settings, you want to go to applications. In applications, you see the section which says collect app data usage or usage data. Make sure this is off. Alright, it's going to be on by default. Make sure this is off. Once that is off, then you want to go to systems. And in systems, you want to go to about. And in the about section, you want to go down to network. This thing which says IP address, that on mine it says 192.168.1.221 and the SSID is res 214 gigahertz. You want to record the IP address, write it on a piece of paper or just type it in the computer so you can remember it. You're going to need it later in this video. Alright, so once that's done, you just want to press back and then the next thing you want to do is make sure that your connected to the internet. In fact, this should be the first thing you do. Make sure you're connected to the internet. And word of advice, make sure you're connected to a mean network, not a guest network. This will not work with a guest network due to security reasons. Alright, so you're connected to the internet, you recorded the about section, and you made sure your data usage and applications is on. The next thing you want to do is you just want to go down to develop, developer options and make sure ADB debugging as well as app from unknown source is on. Once all those things are done, the next step is to go to the computer. So let's go. Okay, so now you're on the computer. Uh, you can see I have a number of files on my desktop and that will include the ADB file, which is a zip file. Um, the download link is going to be in the description below. It's also going to have the Kodi configurator that I want to use, which is also in the description below. Um, so once I see that, I want to open up the ADB zip file right here. And you see this little folder here. I want to drag this on my desktop. That, that's what's inside the ADB folder. All right, so now that's on my desktop, I want to open it up. And you see this little executable file right here where it says ADB. Right, I want to double click that and I want to run that. And then I'm going to exit that out. It normally takes between 5, 10 to 15 seconds to completely start up, depending on how fast your computer is. So let's just wait. Okay, so now it's up. Okay, so now it's up. If you look down to the bottom, you see, you see it says ADB running. That means the application is running and you see where it says device not connected. But we want it to say connected. Um, the way to do that is that you want to go to the setup. We want to go to the setup right here and we want to go where it says IP. There's nothing else to change, but just want to put in the IP address that we recorded earlier in the video. And we want to place it right there. Mine is 192.168.1.221. There's nothing else to change, so we just simply press save. Once we press save, at this point, then we want to just press connect to try to connect the device to the computer. Okay, it says device connected now. If you are having problems with connecting it to the computer at this point, you just want to exit out and do it all over again and repeat. But everything worked perfectly, so let's press install APK. And the Kodi configurator is an APK file. So once we press install APK, we want to go to our desktop where the Kodi configurator application is saved. So once we do that, there's the Kodi configurator that we're going to use. Press open and we simply press yes. 
as you can see down to the bottom there is a, a little load thing right next to the device connected now well let it take its normal course and install the program do not press anything else at this point do not press anything else okay so now it's an install um, you just want to press ok and there's nothing else to press let's go back to our Amazon Fire Stick and let's go okay guys so we're back on the Amazon Fire Stick uh, we have installed the the Kodi configurator using the AB, ADB uh, software that's in the description below uh, we want to go down to settings and then we want to go across to applications once in applications then we want to scroll right down and we want to go to manage install applications and then we go to Kodi configurator but before we begin the Kodi configurator let's go into Kodi to make sure everything is not in there so you don't think that it's already configured and I just cheated you in the video so let's just launch the Kodi application just to show you that it's completely empty there's nothing in it and and so forth like that all right you see how it is there's nothing in it uh, so let's come back up um, let's go back into applications and let's go into manage applications again and let's go into Kodi configurator now it's a quick setup um, you need to put in your email address so I'm putting in my email address quickly Then the next thing you want to do is you just want to put in your location. I live in Freeport. So to put in your country, just click up and we want to find the country that you live in. So I live in the Bahamas, Freeport Bahamas. So I'm just gonna go and find Bahamas. Okay, so the Bahamas is there. Click that and just click agree to terms. Once you press that, just press create account. All right. Um, once that's done, just wanna go to start. And it asks you if you wanna continue or not. Just press continue. And this, this process takes about maybe 10, 15 minutes. So I may just fast forward this, this section. Okay, now you can see that the Kodi uh, on my Fire Stick is completely different now. It has a bunch of different applications here. Um, we have TV and TV2. Those are applications for live TV channels that comes with the Kodi configurator. Um, those channels aren't as consistent, uh, though, they are, though are, those are free. 
uh, it also comes with the weather uh, so you can also change that to your current location um, it comes with premium too and I'm going to show you what that is that's premium live TV I'm going to show you exactly what that is it comes with a radio section games it comes with a little simple game inside of it um, movies and you're just going to add-ons it has all, all the needed add-ons pre-installed right but if you want absolutely more add-ons you can go to get out get more add-ons but I suggest that you go straight to premium right if you click OK on premium and then go straight to OK right here to the right just press OK and press OK and see where it says video add-ons then you have a lot more add-ons that comes with the box all right and we could also click get more add-ons and use it like that let's say I want to use one channel I love one channel by the way and you can go to movies and let's go to favorites I mean featured sorry it's the first time I'm using so I don't have anything in favorites and let's try Let's try The Age of Adeline. It's a pretty nice movie, I watched it before. Mm, let's try this link. See if it works. Okay, so that link didn't work. Let's try another link. Let's try the first link. And as you can see, the movie is playing. Um, you can press up for 10 minutes forward, uh, down for 10 minutes back, right for 30 seconds forward, left for 30 seconds back. Alright, let's just stop that and let's go back out. I'll show you what the premium is all about. And I suggest a lot of people just pay the $9.89, that's how much it costs. Once you go on the Cody Configurated uh, website, which is CodyConfig.com, um, <clears throat> and you sign up for premium live TV they'll give you a username and password once you're in this section you have a username and password from from the website you just go to live TV and you press the menu button and then you go to add-on settings once in add-on settings now um, you would go to account you would enable account you would place your username here I can't show you my username and password but I am going to fast forward it for you. Okay, so that is the Kodi Configurator. As I said, uh, the Premium 2 is for live TV. Uh, you have 140 plus channels with that, but you will have to pay uh, $9.89 a month by going on the CodyConfig.com, which is going to be in the description below. Um, it's a really good application. Uh, we all know that the Amazon Fire Stick doesn't come with a keyboard, and it's unable to use a keyboard, so this application saves you a lot of time and a lot of stress. So thank you guys for watching this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have a great day tomorrow, a great night tonight, and just know that you're special because you're one of the only few in the world to ever watch one of my videos, and that makes you special. So thank you very much, I'm very appreciative, and have a great day. Tutorials he said to provide Like, comment, share, and subscribe